Hey, y'all motherfuckers thought I was finished, huh? Y'all motherfuckers thought I was done talking, huh? Let me ask you motherfuckers this. Y'all niggas still, y'all niggas still wanna hear niggas talking about selling drugs. Y'all hear niggas still wanna talk about selling drugs. Let me tell y'all why I don't sell drugs. That's because as much as you fuck with niggas when you sell drugs, right? You the plug, front niggas, you this, you that, right? When it comes time for you to go to jail, ain't nobody got no bail money for you. Don't nobody got no motherfucking, uh, Don't nobody got no bail money for you. Don't nobody got a motherfucking letter to write to you. Motherfuckers talking about free this, free that. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Do you want that nigga to do what he did? Or do you want that motherfucker to do what he did to your peoples? Let's just be real, man. Let's just be fucking real. You ain't policing yourself, so you're going to call the police. You ain't going to handle shit yourself, so you're going to call the police. Or as soon as you do go hand it yourself, the police get called on you. You're going to put your hands behind your back like a little bitch. Motherfuckers wonder why I don't go hard over drugs in this punk ass street shit. I was tricked into being a street nigga when I was 12 years old. That's why I damn near lost my life at 13 years old. I damn near took somebody else's life at 13 years old. Street shit don't mean a motherfucking thing when you go to prison at 15 years old, nigga. And only two motherfuckers write you. And only two motherfuckers write you. I got a letter from my nigga Warren. And I got multiple letters from my motherfucking nigga Chris. I don't give a fuck about the streets. I stomp through every motherfucking streets. You don't need a gun and uh, yeah, to handle your fucking business. Y'all like weak motherfuckers. Y'all like niggas that pull out guns at the first sight of adversity, at the first sight of danger. You niggas panic. You niggas panic. <sighs> this is what y'all want to hear. This is what y'all decide to fuck with. Daily, constantly. Niggas talking about raping hoes. Niggas talking about drugging hoes. Niggas talking about this and that. But you hoes consistently listen to it. Y'all ain't got no kids right now. Uh, a majority of you don't. Younger people on social media. But you will eventually have kids. Just use your fucking mind, man. Use your fucking mind, nigga. What you do, what you do, more than likely your kids will follow up and do. It's more than likely, my nigga. Let's just keep it funky. Not always, but more than likely. Kids follow the patterns of their parents unless they break the cycle. But how often does that happen? Rarely ever. See, I was blessed with opportunities to change my mindset. Or I had a choice. And I can't even say my choice was the streets because I've always loved athleticism. I always loved growth. My thing when I was a child was love and growth, my nigga. Love and growth development. If y'all don't understand love and growth development, you motherfuckers are sick. But you are sick. 
I'm just saying this to somebody wake up. I don't know, maybe one person. Or y'all all just gonna listen to this shit like, man, he full of shit, blah, 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 bitch. Check my actions, man. I don't got baby mamas. I have one ex-wife out this bitch. Motherfucker held me down, motherfucker I held down for eight years. Motherfucker split uh, 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 accordingly. We split as we should. It wasn't, it wasn't genuine, true love. It was business. Sometimes you just got to handle your fucking business. Sometimes you just got to handle your fucking business until those babies aren't babies. Unfortunately, I still have babies. But it's called work, man. It's called work. Ain't shit in life perfect. Ain't shit in life perfect. You gotta learn. But we already know, man. We already we already seen what other bullshit can get us. But instead of learning from other motherfuckers' mistakes, we rather make the mistake ourselves. Instead of seeing this motherfucker get caught, we rather try to go do this shit and not get caught ourselves. Hey, I understand it. I understand it. I understand it. But if there's a briefcase next to me, I got a million dollars in that shit. If it's for me, it's mine. If it ain't for me, bitch, I don't want to send. I don't want to send out that motherfucker. Nigga, this life is real. I don't play no motherfucking games. I say how the fuck I feel. And I tell motherfuckers, stop taking shit personal, man. You don't take shit personal, man. You know these motherfuckers is about fuckery, man. How many times you got to go through fuckery before you realize these niggas is about fuckery? And when I say niggas, I mean all people, Caucasians, motherfucking whatever, any fucking race, nigga, niggas. Everybody wants to be a nigga these days. Stop fucking playing with me. Let's just keep this shit funky. Let's keep this shit funky, man. I love too hard to be trying to sit here and play motherfucking games like everything is just cool. <sighs> Listen, y'all. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this shit. I don't give a fuck if you listen to my music. I ain't talking about selling drugs. I ain't talking about raping bitches. I ain't talking about no date rape drug. I ain't talking about none of that bullshit. A bitch, no. You ain't ready to get it on, mute. Fuck I look like, ho. On to the next one. Fuck you mean. Or I'ma be patient enough to just say nigga shit. Hey, I ain't tripping. You know I ain't tripping, I'm good. Fuck you mean. Nigga ain't never stressed and tripped over no hoe. Unless it's my main hoe, bitch. You my main hoe? Yeah, bitch. Fuck you mean. I don't even mean to say the hoe and the bitch. But god damn it, y'all know what the fuck it is. That's my ignorance too. Yes, that's my ignorance. But you don't see me physically abusing women. You don't see me motherfucking out here selling drugs. I smoke a little bit of tree. Hell, I smoke a lot of bit of tree, god damn it. Don't call them boys. I wouldn't give a fuck if you did, nigga. Y'all right? Stupid. I love you all. I really mean this shit. I wouldn't even be speaking this shit on this motherfucking... On this motherfucking phone if I didn't, my nigga. I'm too passionate about shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck whether y'all care or understand what the fuck I'm saying. Only motherfuckers with their minds open, openly, only optimistic motherfuckers are going to say, damn, this niggas, this niggas, man, I understand why this motherfucker moves the way he do. Responsibilities are a motherfucker. Kushi is a responsibility. You niggas don't want to motherfucking fess up and realize as soon as you put your anything on some Kushi, you put your eyes on some Kushi, nigga. 
You want to take your time with the coochie, nigga. That's a responsibility that you motherfuckers can't take care of. If you ain't got your own shit, if you ain't got your own place, stop trying to hump on a bitch that you can't provide for. Stop trying to hump on a fucking female that you can't provide for. Stop, man. You fucking up the world. Broke dick don't deserve no coochie. Straight the fuck up. Straight the fuck up. <laughs> That's just true. You motherfuckers make shit harder than it is. In life in general. Not for me. <laughs> in life in general. Listen, man. I ain't even gonna tell you motherfuckers what you should be doing. I ain't. I ain't. At this point, you know what the fuck you should be doing. At this point, I don't give a fuck what you do. Never have. I know if motherfuckers don't change, this shit gonna be a crazy war zone. And when I mean by crazy war zone, I mean good motherfuckers gonna start knocking off niggas. Good motherfuckers gonna start knocking off niggas. Like it's a video game, nigga. Like it's a video game, nigga. Like it's a fucking video game, nigga. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke to y'all. It's a game to y'all. Let's just keep it real, man. It's a joke in a fucking game, y'all. But I love you all. Straight the fuck up or I wouldn't be saying this, man. I'm only saying this shit because I love motherfuckers and I want to see a difference be made. I want to see progress happen. I love you all. Get your fucking mind right.